Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dennis here. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a new series that I'm doing. Um, this is Let's Play Demon Avenger. Um, Sarcasm, as you can see, this is the other IGN that, well, this is the old IGN that I had for my uh, Paladin. And this that was before the Paladin got nerfed. But after the Paladin nerf, you know, I just really, I really couldn't stand the Paladin nerf. And I also, you know, the, the charges and everything, it just annoyed me too much. And I considered playing Dark Knight, but I was like, eh, I really don't want to play Dark Knight. And the Demon Avenger theme really interested me, and what interested me was their HP and everything. And I realized that Demon Avengers, um, people always talk about Demon Avengers. And the thing is, uh, Demon Avengers, they have some, i uh, just put some points in here. They have some pretty amazing passives, actually. You can almost get 100% status resist with uh, max willpower, with their buff, and their um, and five Knights of Cygnus. It's almost 100%. Um, their stance is always 100%. And also, um, they have a fuck ton of HP, so it's pretty hard to kill a Demon Avenger. So, you know, like, in things like Empress, the Demon Avenger is amazing. And I realize the Demon Avenger is, like, people always say the Demon Avenger lacks damage output, but the thing is, they really don't. You can actually solo Chaos Vellum with the Demon Avenger, and Demon Avengers have some really amazing uh, mobility if you know how to control the character, and that's something that I'm really up to doing. So, um, yeah, with all that in mind, that's why I picked the Demon Avenger. Uh, they have some pretty interesting skills here. I haven't maxed them out. As you can see, I'm only 120. I just finished my training session, actually, so that's why all these buffs are disappearing now. Um, that's 620 percent that's really damn high this attack is really 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 cool actually it's really cool and also they also have uh this thing over here which uh debuffs the enemy i'm not really sure what it does but um i guess enemy defense lowers or something they have a bind and this skill is amazing actually more attack speed and damage plus 30 percent and they have a final attack as well over here so this is considered a final attack actually, i'm actually going to put the skill points into it right now so you guys can see what it looks like. So there's a 70% chance to do final attack, and that's two hits, two lines extra. So all these things put together, Demon Avenger actually has the capability to solo um, Chaos Vellum, which is something that most people didn't know. So um, that kind of debugs Demon Avenger's um, lack of DPS kind of thing. Uh, I do have a cool chat ring. That's my chat ring over here. Uh, it looks like this. I have a name tag ring, like the one that he's wearing, uh, Pierce, that's Pierce over there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to put that on the Demon Avenger soon. But anyways, what we're going to be doing in this video is just really short. Um, I'm going to be cubing this thing over here. Uh, this is my uh, Demon Avenger's weapon here. So yeah, I'm going to be cubing this thing over here. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to... I'm not sure if I'm going to do bonus potentials or not, but we'll see. I've been buying um, Nebulites, so there's a four of those, four percents. There's two boss damage Nebulites, uh, three percents over here, and there's one hyper body Nebulite. So I'm only missing one more Nebulite for uh, three or four percent max HP. I'll buy it somehow because I have one two percent as well. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but anyways black cubes and also I got really lucky with the master craftsman cubes I epic potted it and I used all my master craftsman cubes from my last week's boss run because when I do boss runs I get a lot of cubes because I have high percent drop rate and it went epic after seven or it went unique after seven master craftsmen's which is pretty amazing because before this I was trying to master craftsman cube cherry tigers uh, greed pendant and it took over 70 master craftsman cubes for it to go from epic to unique so this one only took seven so I'm really 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 happy about that so yeah um, if you're wondering what I'm using to train just these some transferable totems and this and that's about it so um, oh yeah I have 30% HP shoes as well. I'm hitting around 500, 600 mil per line, or six, 500, 600k per lines. So um, pretty damn good for level 120, I'd say. I can one to two hit kill the mobs in, um, what is it called? <laughs> Max HP MP in uh, Monster Park Extreme. So yeah, it's pretty good. Anyways, um, hoping this thing can go legendary. Uh, this will be better for training, the after potential will be a better training stat. Uh, yeah, if it goes legendary, that'll just make me happy. So, yeah. Hmm. But these cubes are pretty expensive. 9% hmm, dex. 
18%. Yeah, these cubes are pretty expensive, but I'm just hoping it'll go legendary. And if it does, that'll make me happy. But if it doesn't, oh well. Oh, there we go, legendary. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Ah, uh, that's nice. Okay, uh, now for the shield. We're going to be cubing the shield next. Uh, we got some cubes left over, four of them. So let's do that. Ah, oh, so glad I went legendary. Ah, oh, so glad. Okay, more PDR and total. Thank you. I'll take that. Yes. Oh, that's just so good. Uh, nine total. I'll, I'll take this because of the 6% attack as well. Yes, I'm so glad that went legendary. I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff in my inventory after we're done cubing. Because I have some pretty interesting things in my inventory as well. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll stay with that. Yeah, that's really amazing. I've been having some really good luck with black cubes lately. Uh, like, if you remember, I was cubing Cherry Tigers' um, branch nose, and that went legendary as well in one pack, so I'm really happy about that. But anyways, I'll show you guys the rest of my equips. There is... Um, these are scrolled with 30% spell traces. I bought these off of Jess. Thank you so much, Jess. Um, really nice. I think that one needs one more clean slate because it's plus 8 and these are plus 9. I'm not sure, but yeah, we'll fix that when the time comes. Uh, this one over here, I forgot who I bought it off of, but it's really nice. And I'll be galaxying because, as you can see, it's untradeable because they already wore it beforehand. So I can't really trade it around. So I'll galax myself on the Demon Avenger and we'll scroll it up from there. Uh, this one over here, I bought this off of Karen. I'm really happy about these. Um, Speed Infusion Gloves, 36 attack. I really like the 36 attack. So I can't wait to wear those when the time comes. Uh, the rest of the shit is just random. I have a 15%, uh, yes, 15% solid ring. I bought it for like 4 bill from Brian. 4 bill seems like a little much, but I'm fine with that. Also from Brian, I bought this. It was rare. Uh, I epic potted it. I used the last Master Craftsman cube that I had for this week, and it went 6% HP. Uh, when I epic potted it and revealed it, the lines were 6% MP, 3% MP, 3% MP. So that kind of, you know, it kind of bothered me a little. But 6% HP from one cube, that's, you know, it's pretty good. So uh, that's what I'm at right now. Uh, also, I have um, the three Root Abyss pets. If you recall from 2013, Cherry Tigers was using these. Uh, from the last cash transfer event, I transferred these over. Um, okay. Um, I should type that to Dream. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, so these were on Cherry Tigers. Uh, they do expire, but I really like these because it's got more of a darker theme, and that's really the theme that the Demon Avenger has. So yeah, I do have other outfits for the Demon Avenger, and uh, I've been hanging out with um, my Maple Wife and her friends, and they've been, you know, dressing me up, I guess. So, you know, these are some of the hairs that I have. Uh, they told me to dye that hair because it doesn't look good at that color. But uh, yeah, those are just some of the hairs that I have. So they've been really you know, telling me to dress my character up. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll dress it up later because I do have the mesos for Permanex, which I'm really happy about. But anyways, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go to the cash shop and we're going to buy some red cubes and we're going to do some more cubing on the weapon because it went legendary. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I bought the red cubes and um, also... I guess I should mention this. Uh, shout out to Linda. She was actually talking to me yesterday, asking me when was the next time I was going to record a video in HQ, the headquarters. Uh, I guess it'll be now. So uh, yeah, hi Linda. Hmm, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna get a bypass key as well. 30 levels, so that way I can equip this at like right now. So yeah, that'll be cool. <laughs> but red cubes. Here are the red cubes. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, cubing weapon potentials is actually really fun. So let's just hopefully I get something really interesting. Uh, if not, that's cool because red cubes are kind of inexpensive in comparison to black cubes because it's almost like half price. So I really don't mind spending packs of red cubes. Oh, look at that. Hmm, 21% total damage. Do I want to keep that until I level up? Nah, it's fine. We'll keep we'll keep on going. Keep on going. 
Hmm. Actually, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to pause the video and think about it. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so I made I made a couple of decisions. Um, you may have noticed I had a second Fafner um, weapon. It was on this slot over here. And if you didn't, you know, you're probably wondering why do I have two of them. Well, let's... Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, the reason why I have two of these, because these are perfectly scrolled. 360 attack. Those are 15% spell trace and 15 stars. Uh, I bought these... Um, yeah, I don't know why. Like... My friends are complaining about, like, say, for example, they're funding, like, say, Steph, for example. Hi, Steph. Uh, she's funding a um, marksman, and she can't find any crossbow guns or cross crossbows. I have other friends that can't find, like, stabs or whatever they're looking for, and they seem like pretty common items. But for some reason, I can walk through the market and find, like, the most rare items ever. Because you would expect these Desperados to be nowhere. But I was able to find two of them in the market and I bought them both. And funny enough, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but um, I bought one of these for a 10 bill buyable, so that's interesting. And the other one I bought it apparently had a current offer of 15 bill, but it was buyable for 10 bill, so. I don't know if it was intentional or not, maybe it was just a fake offer to get someone to buy it, but I bought it and I waited for a while, I waited for a long while actually, because I've had this Demon Avenger here alive for quite a while and nobody has said anything to me, so I'm just like, okay, I guess it was intentional since nobody said anything. So I'm guessing even though these are uh, scrolled really nicely, um, they can't sell them because Demon Avengers are just so extinct. So what I'm going to do, the reason why I'm even talking about two weapons, uh, I don't know if this is, you know, it's kind of weird, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these weapons as a training weapon, so that one will remain 21% total for now, and I'm going to use the rest of the cubes on this one over here, and, you know, if we can get a bossing potential on this one, that would be nice. If not, we we'll just use that as a training weapon. So, yeah, ultimately I will sell one of these Demon Avenger weapons, so don't worry, I'm not just going to keep two of them. That's such a big waste. But for now, you know... Oh, look at that. 40% total, 20% boss. Hmm... Nah. Interesting potentials. Oh, look at that. 18% magic attack. I wish I got that for Fluffalo. Not the 12% luck, though. And I wish I got that for Flufflow as well. Jeez, that's already better than Flufflow's uh, shield's potential. Because Flufflow's shield has 20% total, 35% PDR, and 9% magic attack. This one's got 12% um, magic attack. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's acceptable though. One line of PDR, one line of boss. That's acceptable. We can keep that as a quote-unquote bossing weapon. But I suppose for now we'll use this as a training weapon. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because, you know, this one's bonus pot looks good. It's already um, done. I'm not going to touch this one's bonus pot. I will only cube the main pot. And this one, the bonus pot is legendary, but it's not done. And the main pot is just like that. So I really don't know what I'm going to do. I might just resell this one. This one looks like something that I could resell. Because I'm happy with the bonus potential for this one. So, yeah. Huh. Looking at it, these are the same things, actually. They're basically the same. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with two Demon Avenger weapons. But, um, yeah, so there's my damage range. It's like 72k unbuffed. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I will continue training this Demon Avenger more and um, funding it more. Um, the thing about Demon Avenger equips is they are hard to find, so as such, if they're hard to find, that means I'm going to have to probably make my own things, so um, it's not going to be cost efficient for my wallet, but it will be fun for you guys to watch since there will be more videos. And uh, yeah, anyways, I have a test tomorrow uh, for genetics, so I had to study for that, but uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.